It is going to happen suddenly. Many of us can feel something is in the air. And what that is, well, I have some information from the spiritual world that I would like to share with you today. Maybe you feel it too, that something big, something unexpected is on the horizon. It's like that the dark side is trying harder and harder to control us, to weaken us. The energies are building up and we can all feel it, whether we realize it or not. The question is, what is it and what's coming our way? But before I dive deeper into this topic, I'm truly happy that you are here today, joining me to learn more about how this sudden event will unfold and what it means for you. And by the way, this rubber band I'm holding plays a crucial role in this, but more on that later. Maybe you have noticed that your body has been showing some unusual symptoms the last month. That feeling of physical heaviness, maybe sleepless nights, sudden anxiety or just a general sense of unease. You can't quite explain it, but something just doesn't feel right. Maybe your heart beats faster or your nervous system feels overstimulated. Your skin is acting up. It is as if your body is trying to tell you, hey, something is not right, something is coming. And we see the same thing happening around us. Chaotic weather patterns, extreme rainfall leading to floods and drought and then snow in the desert and northern lights in countries that normally do not see those northern lights, those polar lights, and unusually strong solar activity and rare comets and extreme planetary alignments. And I spoke about this in my astrological videos. It is like everything is trying to change all at once. None of this is a coincidence. There are signs that we are heading towards something big, something that goes beyond our human understanding. And as we feel these changes in the cosmos and on Earth, we also see how old structures are beginning to crumble. The education system seems to be breaking down like it is collapsing. Our economy is obsessed with quick profits instead of sustainability. At the same time, the health care system is falling apart. More and more people are getting seriously ill and more people are dying, even young people, which wasn't as common before. It feels like everything is falling apart, like we are losing totally control. But all these are signs, signs that something big is on the horizon. And that scares a lot of people. It feels like it's building up, like this unknown dark force or dark side is getting stronger and stronger. But in truth, it's something else entirely. What's happening right now is that we are becoming much more sensitive and conscious. And as a result, we are perceiving energies much more clearly than ever before. We are in the midst of an important shift in consciousness. What does that mean? For years, our perspective was very limited and narrow 
often focused only on our daily lives, our jobs, our immediate tasks. It was like wearing glasses that only allows you to see a certain angle or a part of the whole picture. And now it's different. Now, for many who are awakening, their perspective has expanded enormously. They have become more conscious and with that their field of vision has widened, allowing them to perceive things that were literally invisible before. Our world is vibrating at a much higher frequency than it used to and because of that we can see much more than before. We can see further, so to speak. We can recognize connections that weren't possible for us to see before. And with this higher energy that we now have on Earth, you also become aware of the other side, the dark side, if you want to call it that way. Organizations that have their own power interests over the well-being of humanity and the environment. And we are noticing these inconsistencies much more clearly. It is about power structures, control mechanisms that these negative forces exert over humanity, like government-mandated health measures, maybe a digital passport with more control, or also a possible digital currency in the future, or other means of surveillance and control. Now, as our awareness expands, we are recognizing these structures and their underlying motifs more clearly. And what does all this have to do with this rubber band? I will get to that in a moment. And you are probably familiar with the yin and yang symbol. Let me show it to you. One side is white, the other black. But even within the white area, there's a small black dot. And within the black area, there's a small white dot. That's no coincidence. The yin-yang symbol shows us symbolically that both sides, the light and the darkness, are form a complete whole. Unity is made up of both. Being one means carrying both sides within yourself. Each side contains the essence of the other. You see the black dot in the white area and the white dot in the black area. One is born from the other. One carries the other within itself. This symbol can open the door for us to understand something deeper, something very important. We are coming out of an area where we have all felt very separated and isolated where everyone was focused on their own well-being and often didn't look beyond their own lives. It feels like these dark forces have an immense power over us and we have come to believe in that power. But now something is happening, something that hasn't occurred in the last 6,000 or maybe 12,000 years. We are moving into a new era, a time of integration, following the era of separation. And in this time, we are starting to recognize more and more that both light and shadow, white and black, are part of creation, that they complete each other, and in truth they are one. Creation doesn't exclude the dark or the negative. On the contrary, creation tells you everything is one, 
everything serves you. One is part of the other. Recognize that you carry everything within you, everything you see in the outer world. We often tend to strongly reject the negative, the dark or the shadows within us. We tell our, ourselves, oh, I made a mistake and these are my weaknesses. This is my shadow. This is the part of me that I don't like at all. Let's get rid of it. For some, it's something external. They don't like about themselves. For others, it is their negative behaviors, patterns, addictions or other apparent weaknesses that they reject and do not want to accept. We push these parts of ourselves away, far away, and we don't want to deal with them. And we see this same pattern in the outer world. The chaos happening around us is on reflection. It's showing us that the time has come to recognize and accept all those parts of ourselves that we don't like and do not want to accept. This is the healing that is now so crucial for everybody. It is time to accept everything and say, okay, this darkness is also part of creation, part of God, even if I do not understand yet how it serves me. But it is there. It must have a reason. It must serve me in some way. By simply accepting it as okay, you give yourself the chance to shape it and to change it. Because only what you can touch, really touch and be aware of, you can also transform. Do you understand? And how do you change it? Your reality. By accepting and transforming your own negativity, your own shadow, you change your life forever. Whenever we reject something, it grows, just like fear. If you reject your fear, it will grow. It will keep growing until it becomes panic or even a demon, something that literally holds you captive. But if you allow it, if you permit yourself to feel the darkness inside you, like your fear, your worries, your weakness, and you accept them without judgment, then your own darkness becomes your strength. It becomes your power. Imagine it like stepping stones in different colors, green, red, black, blue. And if you say, the black step, no, I, I'm not stepping on that one. I don't want it. I do not like the black color. What happens then? If you want to get from the green step to the yellow step, you won't be able to. The gap will be too big because the black step between those two steps is missing. And because you didn't want to see it, because you didn't want to use it. But if you recognize that what you see as wrong within yourself is actually the potential that will lift you higher, then everything changes. In the moment you are ready to step onto the black step and ask yourself, how does it feel? Can I stand on it? You will find that it actually feels pretty solid. And when we are ready to accept these things and receive their message, the information they bring to us, everything changes. I sometimes picture this dark side within us as a rising flood. 
At first you only notice a small trickle, gently winding its way through the earth. You try to ignore it, maybe thinking it will disappear on its own. But the water keeps rising, seeping into every corner of your life, filling the spaces until you can't ignore it anymore. And if you try to build barriers, it will just flow over them. It will keep rising, slowly but relentlessly, until it breaks through all the walls. And then, when it surrounds you completely, there's only one thing left to do. You have to face the flood. You have to dive in, confront the water and learn to swim. It is the same with our shadow aspects, our flaws. They won't go away just because we ignore them. The flood, the flood will only recede when we start to accept these parts of ourselves and understand that they belong to us just as much as the light does. By being to truly love and accept ourselves in all our facets, we start to heal. And when we heal, the world around us heals too. And we will see this reflected in the outer world. And now, what does all this have to do with the rubber band? Many people are carrying this intense tension within them. It is as if the world is knocking louder and louder on our door and the pressure from outside is growing and the inner tension is rising. This is exactly what's happening right now. And what happens when the tension becomes so great that it can't build up anymore? What happens then there when there's no more room for stretching? This is what happens. The rubber band snaps and it propels forward. That's what this sudden event is all about. Many people will experience this, even those who may have never heard of consciousness shifts, of transformation, or maybe never heard about the fifth dimension. For them, it will be an awakening that takes them completely by surprise. We are at a point where the tension is so high that there's no other way out, only forward, only forward, only moving ahead. And that's exactly where we are going. I sense that this shift will take place for a large part of humanity within this year. Many people have never engaged with the idea of expanding their consciousness. And for these people, it's now incredibly important that we are there to help them. Helping these people find positivity is the most important thing. Many call us light workers, but honestly, it doesn't matter what we are called. Because this shift we are experiencing on earth is going to happen through the people who suddenly awaken. And this shift is going to be something truly monumental. It will help us completely transform our economic system, our education system and our health care system. And in 10, 20, 30 or 40 years, we will be in a completely different place. The earth will be able to regenerate and I can already see these images in my mind. It is important to understand there isn't just one version of earth. The people who are awakening now will step into these new versions of earth where they will experience exactly what they have brought into this world through their 
positive vibes, their positive thoughts, their positive beliefs, their joy, their happiness and their actions that follows. The world doesn't change just because we wish it to be different. Our actions, our energy are what determine the world we live in, our frequency. You hold the power in your hands. In truth, you are free. The universe supports you in what you want to experience, always, every moment. Why would it be any different? Why would it be any different? So share this video and feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you want, I make a mediumship, a mastery mediumship workshop. This will happen in the midst of September. Check the date and be part. It is a totally free workshop where you can learn how you can activate your mediumship abilities. And this is really something very, very amazing and um, very great thing. So thank you so, so much. And I love you.